Hey, hello, hello, hello. My name is Rograt. Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We have uh, more or less cleared out the most, at least, of the mall here. Uh, the first floor and the second floor. I think today we're going to get looting all of the zombies that we uh, we killed last time. And we're going to see what kind of shops they actually have in this place. Because I have no idea. Um, let's get back down to the ground floor here. And uh, let's get smashing. And let's see if we can find anything interesting that we can take back with us we got here pocket knife it's probably not going to be that much interesting on these guys but i do kind of want to i feel like we should probably do a quick butchery of this flesh raptor here um mostly because i want to gain some proficiencies somebody said that you can no longer harvest things like uh cbms from zombies anymore um and i think it's still worth doing here because i think later on we could maybe uh make some interesting stuff from butchering zombies i don't quite know which one of these is uh to do with butchering zombies okay where's this wasp still outside right yeah he can't get in that's absolutely fine. Let's just ignore that. A lot of these zombies are kind of regular zombies that I wouldn't expect to have anything too interesting. But you never know. I wouldn't mind... Uh, maybe some ammo would be good, but we're pretty set for ammo. In fact, today, I kind of plan to head back if we have time, to the um, military bunker because uh, I've seen there is a recipe for a stepladder which will allow us to go down into the bunker and retrieve our quarterstaff and bring up uh, a boatload of ammo. Uh, we still have a lot of ammo on us. We're using this uh, 762 by 51 at the moment. But the fact that there's so much more that we still haven't uh, like taken is uh, is really great because I don't think we're going to be running out of ammo for that gun for quite some time which is kind of a relief yeah ignore the wasp guard dude please I think we may go and kill it just to kind of get it off of my back but yeah we had a it was it was an absolute bloodbath last episode and uh, I'm kind of interested to see what shops are going to be in this mall because this is the first time I've I've ever been to a mall in Cataclysm. This guy's got a Ruger. Okay. He's also got another wood axe. Uh, we do have one back home that we want to repair. This is a great weapon though. Sweep attack. I think I'm going to leave it. I don't think I need another one. It's also going to take up quite a lot of room. I am... Um, I've got the... I've favorited the recipe for a... What is it? A copper pike. Which I want to build today. Um, I believe we can get copper just from disassembling like sinks and things like that. That would have a uh, plumbing. Grab those cotton balls. Zombie spied. Uh, uh, straggler. Hello. I'm not even going to take my backpack off. That's how confident I am. Okay. I take it back. We have been grabbed, but we should be fine here. He's bleeding badly. Get smashed, my friend. I don't know if there is a way um, in Cataclysm to set up like auto auto smashing or anything like that for corpse. That would be kind of handy. Doing it one by one is a little bit tedious. 
I wonder what taking the homeopathic pills does. Probably absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. Nothing much there. There's another zombie. I beg your pardon. Where did you come from? And again, I don't really think there's anything here. Yeah. More garbage. The main thing is we just get them smashed so that they don't rise up. Mostly interested in looting the, uh, the feral humans. Because those are the guys who are going to have actually interesting things, like shelled almonds. And maybe, uh, you know what, the nails, always good. We'll grab those. Okay, we see another zombie. Alright, there are still a few stragglers left. We'll let them come out one by one. Try and hit them with a the reach attack. There we go. Just make sure these guys don't get back up. Although you know what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this off camera. I don't want to make you guys sit through this. I will be right back. Okay, it hasn't been long at all, and there's a feral mechanic. I'm hoping we have time here to drop the backpack. We do. Okay, well. You're a fool, Mr. Mechanic. I wonder what... What are you... You're probably using a crowbar or something like that, aren't you? What have you got here? You've got a clamp and a funnel and a light bulb. Okay. Nothing too interesting. I think he was using a hammer as a weapon. Let's put our backpack back on and get smashing. I think we have all of these tools. I don't think they're... I, I think taking the funnel might be good. We do want to um, make sure that we have a steady supply of water coming in. I haven't actually seen the light bulb, I don't think. We might want to take that because if we do end up... Uh, there's a couple things we want to do. One of the first is get power going back in base. And I'm going to start... Disassembling appliances. Um, so that we can grab the uh, extension cords. And we can use those to kind of basically get some power going. Uh, back at the shelter. Yeah, I think the regular zombies are way more dangerous than the fat zombies. These guys are probably going to bleed out. Popcorn. Uh, anything else? No. We just do a quick scan of any stragglers here, because I don't want to have to keep dropping. Where the hell did you come from? And also, what are these pebbles? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back to smashing. Right. So I believe I have smashed. Pretty much every uh, corpse, at least in this main area. There's a few up here that we still need to do. Um, and now we just want to see if there's anything decent here. Like, I think the nuts and bolts and things like that are worth taking now. Because they are used in a lot of recipes. And I think uh, I really want to get... I want to I wanna dive into the crafting aspect of, uh, of Cataclysm a lot more. Because we haven't, normally that's kind of my, the thing that I enjoy the most. But we haven't really done it much. At least not on, uh, on this playthrough so far. Uh, there is that Benson roadmap, but I think we, we don't really need that. I'm just kind of standing in the middle of a group here and doing the, uh, doing the, the multi loot thing here. Which is a, a key binding that I've set up. Mm. 
just because it's I think it's a bit nicer to look at than the advanced uh, inventory menu uh, anything good here this mostly is is just garbage isn't it yeah I think so there was a, a guy over here that was a um a corpse I can't pulp because it's there's a restaurant guide we might as well take that there's a corpse here that I can't pulp because it's an acid zombie. Uh, a gummy vitamin. We should probably eat one of those. Here we go. Right. We've got... A bunch of 22 FMJ rounds here. And... 10 round mags for a firefly. I don't know what... A firefly is a training pistol. Apparently. Okay. Not really interested in grabbing that. But I uh, I will grab the, the ammo. Because why the heck not. We'll unload these mags. Mineral water. And... I actually think we we we're actually quite low on water back at base. It might not be a bad idea to set some jugs up as quickly as possible. There's a Kevlar vest here. Electric lantern. Here we go, some bandages. The adhesive bandages are not worth taking. We'll take the regular bandages. Aspirin, antiseptic. I think at this point though, we actually don't need to worry about uh, medicine at all. We have so much medicine, it's actually kind of insane. Grab these nuts and bolts. Ignore the zombo. I hate this zombie, he's ruined my looting. Take that. Where's the other one? Well, we got the ammo. That was the main thing that I was after there. Okay. I remember a little bit of pain is good for us because we are a masochist. Energy drink. Take that. Okay. Let's take a look at the shops. Let's start. By checking these ones over here. This looks obviously a kitchen. Chili peppers. We'll grab those. I don't think we're allergic to... Yeah. Liquid soap. We don't really need that. Let's turn our uh, headlamp off. On, sorry. There we go. We're kind of uh, looping back around. Oh, hello. Take that. Okay, we'll grab uh, all the batteries we can. What do we have here? Chili peppers on the floor. We've got compressors and condensers, some copper wire. Probably need to unload fairly soon. The volume is fine, it's the weight of stuff that we have. Bunch of uh, irradiated lettuce, that's pretty good. Plastic chunks. I'm assuming those are really useful. I may come back for these. Rubber. Copper tubing, copper wire, an onion. The copper tubing, is that... Hold on, I want to check something out. Where are all these chili peppers coming from, dude? I'm grabbing the rubber. Copper wire. I know the rubber hose is pretty useful. Yeah, one thing I want to check is if we go to this copper pike, for example, that we want to build. We can see it needs 100 copper. Or two chunks of copper. 
I'm assuming this copper is basically the copper in like powdered form almost. And then if we grab where is that copper over here? Right. If we look at the copper tubing we can make a bundle of copper tubing for that. Okay, I don't think that's actually what we we want, is it? Rotten tomato. Chocolate. Hell yeah. I might uh I might take this uh oven apart. Uh, deconstruct. Wait, okay, how, how would we deconstruct the... Probably don't have the stuff we need, do we? Oh no, it's simple terrain, slash furniture, got it. Okay, and that basically unplugs it. So we can now grab that, I'm assuming. One thing I'm a bit confused about is the grab feature with capital G. Um, it only works on certain things. Like, I can't grab this oven, for example. I would have to use the, um, the hauling feature. Which seems a bit stupid to me. I think, uh, why did the two, two different things that do the same function seem to exist? I think they should just have one. Seems a little bit confusing uh, as to which one I'm supposed to use sometimes. Anyway, I do actually want to disassemble this as opposed to uh, unplug it. Okay, yeah, we don't have the tools for that at the moment. Let's try it on the fridge. I feel like this would actually have, like, uh, extension cords. Uh, it's not deconstruct furniture. Oh, okay, we also don't have... We don't have the tools to deconstruct this. Um, I wonder what we'd need. Probably need a screwdriver. Which we do have. Hmm. Not sure. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna, I think for now I'm gonna kind of forget about wiring up the base. As fun as that would be. Seems a bit convoluted, and um, I'd rather not make you guys sit through it. Oh, we got some wine here. We got like a little uh, little waiting area. Hey, there's still more zombies coming. I don't know where they're actually coming from, but... Not really interested in the kitchens. I want to find... Uh actual shops that they have like uh basically i want a sword <laughs> drop the uh the backpack probably turn off my headlamp as well that was a big misclick all right walk this way my friends Right, I think there's a zombie coming for us from the south here. Oh no, they're up here as well, okay. Okay. Where did I drop my bag? Here, here it is. 
Yeah, let's see what shops... I, I guess we're kind of in the food court area right now. Yep, giant wasp, got it. You've told me a thousand times. We do need to smash those corpses at some point. Okay, I think this is the first real shop we have here. What the heck is that? Zombie medic. Right. Yeah, this is the first real shop we've encountered, I think. Um, this is all kind of uh, food court stuff, I think. There is stuff down here. We should probably check that out. But let's start here. Just make sure there's nothing good here to, to loot. Butchery refuse. Yeah, nothing. Well, this entire shop has been uh, absolutely destroyed. <laughs> uh, okay, neckties. This is a, a clothing shop. Um, none of which is particularly useful for me. Okay, we have been grabbed. It was quite bad. That was, that was very bad. We should, really should... I feel like I'm rushing a little bit. I should definitely take off my um, my backpack. Oh, we're, we're over capacity because we're, we're messed up. Right, let's take a couple paracetamol here. And let's apply some bandages, I think. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. And we're going to soak some... Oh, we can make a stepladder. How much does that weigh? It weighs 20 kilos. Okay, absolutely not. Uh, we want to make... We want to soak some of these cotton balls in antiseptic here. Let's make... Uh... Make eight of them. Okay. And then let's apply them. Start with our left arm. We'll just do this so... Uh, I think you, you do actually heal quicker. Even if you don't need to disinfect. You will heal quicker. Okay, that zombie doesn't see me right now. Yeah, we're good. Just do our leg and our torso. And then we should be good. Should probably bandage them as well to, to get everything to heal a bit faster. But I'm going to head back real quick. Drop some garbage off. And then we're going to come back and we're actually going to check out... Where's my knife spear? There it is. Also, there was something we wanted to craft last time, and it needed a torch. And apparently you have to activate the torch, so... Oh yeah, it was the copper pike. Not sure where we get chunks of copper from. But I'll come back with some tools, and hopefully we'll be able to figure that out. I think there's a zombie down here somewhere. Where's this wasp? Okay, the zombie's up there. Yeah, let's get back outside. We are very, very exhausted today. We've had a pretty hectic couple of days. Uh, like, in a row. So, uh, we, we definitely need to rest up. Alright, I'm gonna leave... These guys are actually doing us a huge solid right now. They're taking out any zombies that are coming from up there. Uh, tongue and groove pliers. I don't believe we have those yet. Let's head back to base. Very close by, luckily. Hmm. 
What route are you taking? Why? No, no, no. We've never taken this route back home before. Why? Don't go through houses, you absolute fool. What's this? Antihistamines? Let's do that again. Lovely jabbly. So we just drop everything in this uh, tile and then it should pretty much put everything back automatically. I think I might even drop my Glock here just to save a little bit of weight. This army knife, this uh, wrench, crow. I'm going to grab everything, all the tools I think we might need uh, individually. And we're going to figure out together what we'll need to uh, actually disassemble the, uh, the appliances. Wish there was a quicker way of doing this. There probably is, but I don't know about it. And then I'll grab some medicine separately as well. Uh, we'll keep the batteries on us, or at least some of them. Can opener. Uh... There we go. Yeah, if there's a quicker way of doing this, uh, please let me know. This does not seem like the most efficient way. There's, we can just keep these on us. There's no need to put them down, I don't think. There we go. Yep, I don't care. Right, there we go. And then let's put this away. This is such a handy feature, so good. Alright, yeah, we did pour a bunch of sh shit on the floor here. Well, that's kind of stupid. I know it did give me the warning, but I just said, I assume it would always... <laughs> okay, lesson learned, lesson learned. Let's drop these empty containers as well. Alright, we just wasted like a shitload of uh, very valuable... Uh, drink. Maybe we can lick this off the floor. Slurp it up. No, it's all dirty now. Okay. So. Let's start here by... Where is this torch that we have? Let me activate it. Okay, I guess we have to grab it, first and foremost. Oh, it doesn't fit any... Okay, we have to wield it. This game. This freaking game, dude. Okay, torch. Get it. Drop the knife spear. Right, activate the torch. Need a source of fire. Okay, forget about it. Um... Where is my knife spear? This is a... Uh, sometimes I like to think of Cataclysm as uh, inventory gore. You know, the movie. And it really is. It's 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 pretty insane. Here we, here we go, knife spear. Let me build this, please. Magazines, ammo. Here we are. I am enjoying the knife spear though. It's a lot of fun. Let's uh Yeah, it's it's very it's quite slow. 115 moves. Drop the torch. Okay. So I said we wanted to build a step ladder, right? We also want to grab some tools to take with us. We'll take the wrench. We will take, uh, we shouldn't need a saw. We'll 
We'll take a pair of pliers. Even though I think, honestly, wait, level one bolt turning. Yeah, I was going to say, we probably don't need pliers and a wrench. That's basically the same thing. We'll take a screwdriver. We'll take a screwdriver set. Yeah, okay. I think that's all we should need in theory to disassemble. I'm not actually going to disassemble this. I just want to check if we get the prompt. No. Uh, I could pause the recording and go and look, but I don't want to. I, I try not to check, like, wikis or anything. I have no idea. Uh, is there a way for us to actually, like... When I examine the fridge, for example, it doesn't tell me what I would need to disassemble it. Maybe a hammer? Surely not. Uh, you you shitting me? We don't have a hammer. What the hell? All right, we'll we'll go get a hammer then, I guess. Anyway, we dropped a bunch of crap off. Let's get back to the mall. Whilst the uh, the sun is still out. Oh, there's a zombie. Hello. You fucker. Yes, stop. You absolute little shit. I can't believe you got away with that. I was gonna do a- it was a, I had a whole thing planned. A whole, like, checkmate. Hold on, there's probably a hammer in this room. I know, uh, there was a... Somebody did drop one. Electric polisher. Crowbar. Yeah, let's go get the one that was dropped from the, uh... The guy. That we killed. No, holy shit, what a misclick that would have been. I don't even know what I just pressed there. Right, uh, where, okay, I did not even see you. I believe it was you that had the hammer? Yes. Clamp, you should probably take a clamp. Alright, let's see if we can uh, disassemble anything. This is very much a uh, experimental episode here, where we're just trying stuff out. Okay, that doesn't do it. That just simply makes it movable. Uh... Okay. Uh... Hmm. If you guys are watching, screaming at me, uh, if it's obvious, I'll say this. No, it isn't obvious. <laughs> I have no clue. Huh, maybe... Maybe you can't. Maybe you just gotta smash. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, okay, let me open up this list. Let me search for appliance. Okay, there's nothing that uses the phrase appliance. God, okay, that definitely doesn't work when you write decon. There we go. Um, I 
Yeah, very confused by that. Let me know how uh, how we'd go about disassembling stuff because uh, I can't quite figure it out. Also, I'm kind of impressed that this fridge is still going. Okay, that was exactly what I was worried about. We now need to make a new weapon. <laughs> Alright, let's look at what we have in these shops. Yeah, we can only deconstruct these counters here. Right, where are the real shops? Oh, what do we have here? Let's drop our bag and our rifle. Get ready for some combat. These look like tents. Oh, it's a rifle case. Oh, that's cool. We are in a lot of pain. Um. Yeah, we are slow as shit as well. That might be a problem. Yeah, that could be a real problem. Uh, also, so tired. I think we. I think I'm gonna avoid any more combat for the rest of this uh, episode. Oh, I do see some stuff I want here for sure. Just because the more we f we fight, the our weariness gets slower, and we might not be able to get back to uh, full strength even if we do sleep. We'll definitely take this. Uh, these tins of food here. It's great. Alright, what do we have? Leather double rifle case. Okay, so I don't think we need this because it's... I wonder if they have any... Ah, uh, there's zombies in here. I wonder if they have any actual weapons. Take a look, what do we have here? Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, no, they do. There's a Glock here. 17 round mag. We, we need to take that. That we can use. Uh, a bow scope. There's a 1911. Oh, that's a good pistol. A punch dagger. Oh, dude, these things are awesome. That uses piercing. Hmm, I'm going to grab that as well. Okay, we need to be in that bottom room. Shot shell revolver. A Glock 22. Uh, okay. That's all we see right now. There's a couple more zombies in here. I really don't want to fight them, but I think we may have to. Let me turn my headlamp off. Yeah, I'm very, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm completely thrown off by what we have to do here to, uh, deconstruct appliances. It, it's not at all obvious to me. So please go easy on me. K-bar. There any actual bows in here would be cool. We've got arrows and uh, mods for, for a bow, but we don't actually have a bow that I can see. I would love a decent bow, because I think that's uh, completely silent. Golf tees, more of these uh, rifle cases. What do we have here? Outdoor adventures, heat pack. Fletcher's friend, we should probably grab that. 
I imagine uh, the next day we will spend resting and reading. Right, drop the backpack. Deal with this guy real quick. Hoping they're the last zombie we have to deal with. Oops. Probably not, let's be honest. That back door there is open. Alright. Okay, this is all arrows. Bow scope. Okay, this is where the stuff we wanted was. Uh, ammo. The punch dagger would be really cool to use. Especially if we, uh, if we can, if we can get martial arts, if we can learn a martial art at some point and use the punch dagger, I think that would be really sick. Perfect. All right. Can we actually put this on our... I think we could maybe attach that to our weapon. Beretta Storm. Punch Dagger. Good stuff. I'm not sure why these aren't expanding here. Normally we'd be able to unload these from this menu. Uh, we don't seem to be able to do that. But we have unlimited 9mm ammo at this point, honestly. I think the 1911 I will take. And the 17 round uh, Glock 17 mag will also grab because we need that for the Glock that we're using. Computer World, grab that. Diet Coke. Okay, this is great. These are all really good books. And I'll probably do all of the book stuff, like, uh, off camera. I might just take a... a day after today, where I just rest up. Here we go. We got some bows here. What do we have? We got a short bow. A takedown recurve bow. A modern fiberglass bow that can be taken down for storage. That's really cool. So we can actually disassemble it to make sure that we can store it. Uh, we can install arrow rests, dampeners, stabilizers. Okay, that's great. I'm definitely going to take that. Just going to see what else there is in this. A waterfowl shotgun. I don't think we've actually got a shotgun yet. We can't fit this in any pocket, unfortunately. We'll have to come back for it, but I will grab the uh, the slugs and the bird shot. This place is kind of a gold mine. Look at all of this ammo that we're we're grabbing. There's a five-round hunting shotgun here as well. Holy cow! There's also a slingshot. Wait. So the hunting shot gun we can't grab. Too big. 61 damage. Two critical multiplier. But this six round tactical shotgun. We absolutely can grab. That is. There's also a Winchester. Which weirdly does less damage than I thought it uh, it would. The Winchester's awesome, but I'm going to grab this tactical shotgun. Hell yeah. Okay, we've got a varmint rifle as well. What? Oh, this place is incredible. This makes up for all of the frustration of uh, not being able to figure out how to disassemble stuff. Okay, we are now overweight. 
But we do have a shotgun. I will come back here for the bow as well. I'm kind of intrigued by the punch dagger. Let's do a quick comparison between... I know that you can't really equate the two. But let's just take a look at the, uh, the punch dagger. Okay, so obviously... The knife spear does more damage. Technically, no, I think the punch dagger has higher DPS because it's quicker, way quicker. Yeah, typical damage per second is just slightly more. Stamina use is way, way better. Uh, less crit chance... Interesting. Definitely take it. Doesn't have any abilities with it though, unfortunately. Like, we only have block with this, which is actually kind of garbage. It's the reason I want to make the, uh, the copper pike instead of the copper, uh, copper, the, sorry, not the copper pike. Yeah, the copper pike as opposed to the knife spear, which is what we're using. I keep thinking we're using the copper spear, but we're not. Okay, we gotta head back again because we are very we are just laden with uh with ammo right now. There's a zombie up there who's probably trying to get to that wasp. Yeah, let's get back. Don't forget to smash this guy. And yeah, let me know. Just let me know how to deconstruct appliances. Because I, I would like to get the base up and running. But uh, I don't really want to check the wiki. Also because there's so many versions of Cataclysm. Uh, I think I'm definitely playing a slightly outdated version. It may be different info. Okay. We're definitely not going to be uh, needing ammo anytime soon. That's for sure. We now have a six round tactical shotgun, which I'm really excited to use. We'll keep this... Uh... Where's... Did I drop... Oh, the Belgian battle rifle's there. Yeah, I... let's see if we can attach anything to this whilst we're here. Keep this on us. Put the clamp away. Don't spill this on the floor, for the love of God. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, so, right. Uh, battle rifle. Let's see if we can mod this. Where is that bayonet? I think it actually may be in a different... Where the hell did we put our... Here we go. It counts as a knife. Got it, got it, got it. AK bayonet. Didn't we have a red dot sight at one point? Isn't this an underbarrel grenade launcher? It is. Let's try and attach that. Don't actually remember where we picked that one up. Red dot sight. Yeah, I think we need higher higher skill possibly. Let me turn my uh, reading light on. Okay. It doesn't have a slot for this mod. Got it. Okay. What can we put on here? We can put something. We can change the barrel. We have a brass catcher. A grip. Okay, we need a rail mount. Got it. Or sorry, a sight mount. 
Okay, let's try uh, the under barrel grenade launcher. It requires at least launcher skill of one, which we, we have no skill in, I think, at all. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. We'll put those back for now then. It would be good to have a nice red dot sight on there. I wonder if we can activate the uh, the bayonet and attach that as well. It doesn't have a slot. Okay. I guess that's the one downside to the weapon we're using. It doesn't seem to have many... Uh, it needs like the rails and stuff to really be able to put anything on it. Okay. I think I'm going to end here and I'm going to... Off camera, I'm going to rest up and I'm going to learn... Uh, I'm going to read some books, I think, just to just to keep us uh, like in the positive because I feel like we're kind of... We're hitting a lot of walls with our skills not being high enough. And then when we come back, we will actually explore them all properly. And I will wait until you guys have commented on this episode to let me know how to disassemble uh, appliances. And then we'll try and wire this base up. Thank you very much for watching. My name has been Rograt. You've been watching Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Subscribe for more. And as always, take it easy.